Apple making a lot of announcements in San Francisco. One of them, a brand new iPhone. This is the iPhone 7 I have in my hands here. And I'll turn it around, you can see this is one of the new colors. This is jet black. It's got that shiny piano gloss finish on here. There's also a black, which is more of a matte color. The design wise, it looks fairly similar and feels fairly similar to the iPhone 6S, but there are some differences. The screen is 25% brighter. Of course, a new processor, so much faster than that. But here is a huge change, and you can't tell just by looking at it, but this is the first iPhone that is water resistant. So you can have this underwater for up to three meters, up to 30 minutes, which is a feature a lot of people have been very anxious for. So first time we have that on the iPhone 7. Now, other features include the home button. That's changed as well. It's not a physical button anymore. When you push it, it actually doesn't move, but it does have some taptic feedback. So there's a vibration that kind of shoots through the phone. I'm going to turn it around and we'll talk about the cameras and you can see that nice gloss in the back here. Now a 12 megapixel camera it used to be a 10 megapixel camera. The FaceTime camera the front also is upgraded to a 7 megapixel camera and one thing that's missing look at this the rumors were true no headphone jack it's just the lightning connector so the new headphones you're going to have to use lightning connectors or here's the other option. This is a converter an adapter that you can use your old wired headphones and plug it into the bottom of the iPhone. But of course, Apple also announced AirPods. These are Bluetooth, tiny little earbuds, uh, completely cordless. Uh, that's the other option to use there. Speaking of cameras, the iPhone 7 Plus. Here's something new, two cameras on the back. One is wide angle and one is telephoto. That's to make for better zooms. So definitely lots of features on the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus coming to Canada September 16th. And we can't forget about Apple Watch. The new one is being called Apple Watch Series 2. There are some upgrades. Of course, there are colors, new bands, and things like that. But the watch itself now has a brighter screen, twice as bright as the original Apple Watch. It also is water resistant, down to depths of 50 meters. Faster processor, you'll notice about a 50% performance increase uh, but last but not least we also talk about GPS enabled you can finally go for a run with your Apple watch and log where you are and you don't have to carry your iPhone with you there is by the way also a version specifically for runners called Apple watch Nike plus that'll be hitting in late October Apple watch series 2 will be hitting Canada September 16th and with that your downloads now complete